last year that we talked about was this was going to be your first year as a pro triathlete. Blew that one, didn't I? Did you blow it, though? Um, you remember that? Do you rem Did you know that there was two world champs this year? Did you know that? No. I got second at one of the world champs that occurred this year. So you were a professional. I'd say that was probably my biggest shot to win the world title in my career, probably. Because I love that course, I love that place, I do well. Blew that one too. Always blowing it. There's one thing I'm good for, you can bet on. He'll probably blow it. <laughs> um, all right, well, this is kind of a review of your year. Are you uh, looking back on your year? Are you, are you happy with your year? Are you happy with what you learned? I'm, no, mm -mm, no, I'm not happy with the year. I have my little baby boy who's sitting over here with grandma next to you. That was the highlight of the year, undoubtedly. <laughs> um, okay, well, I'm not happy with the year. You can't be ha You aren't an athlete to your core if you're happy with a year where you had maybe one good result, one okay result. You're not happy with the year. I wouldn't be where I am. I wouldn't have become a pro and had the dream to be world champion if I was satisfied with this mediocre at best year. So no, extreme dissatisfaction. Um, you've, you've sat in front of the camera a lot. You've had some tough interviews, some good interviews, some bad interviews. Where, where kind of are your thoughts? I feel like are... mainly my interviews this year have been bad. I would say, let's just call it what it is. Like let's, let the, in order to, part of evol evolution and moving forward and I think becoming better is, is acknowledgement of who you are, where you are, what has happened. It wasn't a very good season. I would say it was not a good season. I would say my, the number one thing I would say that wasn't good was my orientation to the whole thing. I don't think I, I had much joy. It became kind of a job. I was tired a lot. Um, it was a dysfunctional year, I would say. I would say it was not how I race, how I race best, how I get the most out of myself, both in training and in racing. I, I moved maybe the furthest away from that in my career. Pretty darn close. Um, when you look back at the year, did you take away any positives? I mean, I get to exercise for a living. Now, mind you, I definitely lost money this year going to races, for sure. Fortunately, I've got great sponsors who uh, stick by me. Uh, so, so am I a professional? Mm, not making money. Like I said, I'm a YouTuber now. You know what I mean? So, um, so the positives are that I get to exercise, which I love to do. I would do anyway. I would do for free. I get to do it all day for the most part, and I get to make videos about it, and the videos about the things I learned along the way. So, there, I mean, that's pretty positive, I would say. Um, from a racing standpoint, I think the biggest thing that I got this year was that there is no right way to train. There is a right way for you to train. And you can emulate other people, you can copy other people, you can become infatuated with other people and what they're doing. It is truly irrelevant. All of my training is and will be forever on Zwift. It's, it's readily available, I have nothing to hide. It doesn't matter what I'm doing, quite frankly. You can copy and do exactly as I do and you likely will not only not have good results, it probably will be bad for you because everyone is unique. Of course, there are fundamental training principles that we should abide by. You have to keep training in an adaptable place. You can't do too much of anything because you will stop absorbing it. As hard as you train, you must recover just as hard. Periodization. Uh, progressive load. There's lots of fundamental training concepts, of course, but you can do and copy what 
anyone else is doing and it very likely will have different results for you because there's a unique plan and strategy for you to be your best. And I would say that's probably the number one thing that I take from this year is that there is a specific pathway for which I become my best athlete and it does not look like anyone else's pathway. Um. I wouldn't say that you're no longer feared, but what do you... Think? Oh, I am no longer feared. You, you can be, call it as it is. I used to go to races, for sure. And people were like, we better not see this guy other than on the start line because you don't want to go to war with me. And I am, I am not even a factor anymore. I am a, I'm coming in almost last place in championship level races. My last two championship level races, I am almost in last place. Why would you fear a guy who is almost in last place? You wouldn't. So that's no problem. Not, not a problem. Don't care. I don't deserve to be with these performances and with this garbage perspective, quite frankly, an orientation that I have had the last little while. You shouldn't even be on the radar. Totally agreed. Do you, does this give you motivation and hunger for next year? I don't give a F what anyone thinks, quite frankly. I race best when I am mad and I am, I have vengeance in my heart. That's how I race best. I don't care where it comes from. I don't know why I have it. I don't know when or when I developed it. It does not matter to me. I don't care to explore it. That's how I race best. That's what I will do. And that's what I come into 2023 with. It started to be a pretty, like you're upset. <clears throat> I'm very upset. What do you mean I'm upset? I've, quite frankly, I, I, I have no one to blame. No one, nothing. It's all experiences. There are no bad experiences. It's just experiences. And you can do with them as you, you can get mad about them. You can be sad, blah, blah, blah. It doesn't matter. The reality is I am where I am now. I've got work to do. I believe I can still compete with the very best in the world. I believe I am not too old. I remind myself that, in my opinion, the best 70.3 to ever have occurred was done by Jan at the World Champs when he ran 106 off the bike. That was in, I don't know, 2018. I believe he was 38 years old then. That's probably certainly on par with one of the best 70.3 performances ever done. And I also believe at 39, Jan did undoubtedly one of the best Kona performances ever done in 2019 at 39 years old. I will be 35. This is not like, a, oh, you got lots of time, guy. No, you've got no time, zero time. I'm not going to sit here and say, I'm done pissing time away, but I am fucking done pissing time away. Okay. I, there is, it's now or never for me. And I mean, it couldn't be any more, any more apparent to me. I believe I have it still. And I, and, and, and I will, I will go back to what I believe is the way it doesn't, you see, that's the thing. I think, not, I think I know. You need to do what you believe is the way that you become your best because you have to believe fully that when you start, when you get on that start line, you have to believe in yourself, in your method, your fitness, and your mental strength to the depth of your being. That's the only way that you can win big races. That's the only way you can be competitive. And what do these guys who are doing well have? They believe what they're doing is correct. They, are, they believe they're mentally strong. That is the foundation of all the top guys. That is their foundation. And not all this stupid crap that there's, there's a million different things people are doing now and we can all look at it and analyze it like, oh, I gotta go do this testing and that testing. It's not what it is. It's 100% not what it is. It's a deep belief in yourself and your strengths and that when the gun goes, that you are better and stronger than everyone else on this start line. And you're willing to go toe to toe with anyone. And if you don't have that, well, you better damn well figure out how to get it because that's how you win. I have what it takes. I know how to do it. The thing I've lacked is confidence in myself and my process. And I'm going looking at all these other guys and I'm like copying people, insecurity, I had it right years ago. I, I already, that's why I did well 
very early on. I still believe my bike run combo when I was good is on par with anyone now. I don't, you can believe that, not believe it. Don't fucking care, quite frankly. I know how to get there. I will get there. Maybe I'm coming off as, you know what? Fuck them. I don't care. That's part of what these guys have. It's what they have. Confidence. They, Gustav in 2019, he didn't even win the title yet. And he said, took, put a picture of himself up and said, you're 2019 70.3 world champion. Like, that's the perspective of these guys. They believe confidence oozing out of themselves. Now, I have a weakness in the swim. I am addressing it with my coach, and we're working very hard on that. I can't win, though, if I am not insanely fit on the bike and the run, and I am not insanely fit. I am the weakest I've been in my whole career. I know how to get back to where I need to be. That's what I'm going to do. Uh, I think that we all know that triathlon has a very short memory and people only remember your last race. A lot of the people, including the media, say that the, the torch has been passed, that the new athletes are here. That is so fucking ridiculous and disrespectful. The fact of the matter is here, these guys never have raced Jan. Jan lifted this sport. That's a fact, period. That's so disrespectful. Jan lifted this sport. These guys are getting on to Jan's level. I've been racing Jan for years and I race these guys. They're getting to Jan's level and they've not beat him and they've not raced him. That's a fact. Do you, do you Fuck that. It's not what happened. Yeah, memory is short. You're right. I bet Jan's sitting at home looking at this saying, what? Really guys? Did you not see when I won by eight minutes? Unchallenged, could have had fucking five cigarettes at the finish line before second place came in. Like, for real. I, I don't know what to tell you. I told you that I was gonna struggle with this interview. I'm fired up. I'm mad. You notice I'm rested now. It's part of it, too. You should, you should pay attention to your emotion and your aggression because those are things that indicate fatigue. If you are like blunted and not emotional and not like fuck, oh, firing on all cylinders, then you're probably too tired. I'm not fucking tired anymore. I am hungry, I am ready, I believe I have what it takes and I know how to do it. That's where I head from here. I don't care if you think I can or don't think I can, then don't fucking watch, don't care. Doesn't change my life at all. Won't know you, don't talk to you, don't fucking care. You have a, a bunch of uh, loyal followers that have followed you all year long and uh, been your biggest fans and support. Uh, what, do you, what do you have to say to them throughout the year? I appreciate everyone. I, I don't want to come off as a neg negative person because I'm not a negative person. This sport saved my life. I, I want to, I, w I believe I can contribute to this sport to, to the right perspective, to, to the, the the greatness of this sport because it truly has changed me and made me a better person. But I, it, it's like you, you can't talk the talk and not walk the walk. I've got I've to do what I've got to do to be in the frame of mind that I believe is the correct frame of mind. And I will take accountability for, for that from now on. I will do what it takes for me to race in the perspective I need to race from. So I apologize if I have strayed from that, if at times I've not been, you know, amped up, I want to fucking pump you up. That, I mean, that, that, I, triathlon saved my life. If I can contribute something, I want to pump you up, get you fired up to get out there and, and just smash it and enjoy it because there's joy in just smashing it. And you cross that finish line, and you're like, I just transcended myself. I, I that was an amazing experience. It don't matter what place, it's the, it's the energy of what you're doing. I've strayed away from that for a bit. I'm going back there now. I don't care. I know that, that the cool part is that that's how I get the most out of myself as well when I have that perspective. And when I train in such a way that allows me to go there. And so I apologize if I've strayed away, but I promise you I won't stray away again. And that will be that's what, that will be what I will do from here on out. So I appreciate everyone following along. Maybe it's been not the greatest year content wise or you know, uh, performance wise, but we're gonna fix that. And we have time to do it, but not much.
Not much time, so it's now or never.